promise to stay on focus. First of all, you're blurting. stick to the topics. First of all, you're blurting out in the middle of when I'm talking. We all know in this class the procedure is to raise your hand and I have to call it. Remember, procedures. You've already embarrassed enough on the first day of school. I don't know if I should bring you back. You're right. I, I, I do. I do have my hand raised, but you just can't see me. I, I promise. Uh, I understand, and I will be committed 100%, and I will help explain the expectations of the procedures. Even if your hand's up, you still don't have the right to blurt out. Should we bring it back, though? Yeah. yeah. Fine. Come back. No problem. I'm ready. Okay. Am I good? Okay. Yes, you're good. So today's video is all about extending what I have been talking about in real life to you today, so far, and throughout the rest of the week and next week, is expectations of you as a scholar in humanities this year, and the procedures that you should be able to follow and work with in order to meet those expectations and surpass them. Excuse me. Uh, yes. You don't have to keep your hand up once I've called on you. Oh. <laughs> uh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> anyway, scholars, uh, as I'm sure real life Mr. Domingo has been ta talking about so far, the most important thing to remember this year is when you walk through the door, your main purpose and focus this year in this class is to challenge yourself and to challenge others. Our goal is to gain perspectives and knowledge about the world that we live in and the people we share with and people who are no longer living whose impact is still felt today. Yes, We're always trying to understand how the people and events we talk about have to do and connect with our lives right now. This requires a lot of in-depth thinking and challenges that you are going to be asked to work with and through this year. When you enter through the door, you're entering humanity's land. And in humanity's land, we push ourselves and others to find out more about the world and ourselves than we knew the previous day. Isn't that right, real life, Mr. Domingo? That's no. absolutely right. No, Fake no. digital Mr. Domingo. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't want to blab on and, you know, just go on and on like, you know, who? Hey, that's not very nice. <laughs> not, nothing at all. Um, I was just saying that I think I've said enough for right now, and I'll let it get, I'll bring it back to you, real life, Mr. Domingo. Thank um, you. Look, scholars, if you come to this class each and every day, and you are prepared, and you participate, in the discussions, in the role playing, in the reenactments, in the plays, in the projects, and all of the other craziness that we're going to have this year, you're really going to enjoy this class, and you're going to come away with a lot of knowledge and skills, both reading, writing, and speaking, all right? Um, remember the class rules and the procedures are there. Own your mistakes, own your failures, own your successes. Push each other, push yourself. Be like water. Be like water. All right, everybody. Have a great first day and a great fifth grade year. I hope to see you soon in the next video series. Thank goodness. Bye bye. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, wait, I forgot. Nope. <laughs> so there you go. Sorry, that got a little strange there, but that's what the video 